here our next topic that is extracting iron actually the process extraction that means to separate your pure metal from its ore most important thing is that what is ore ore means that a rock containing enough quantity of mineral for extraction to be possible or you can understand that ore that means when metal that would like to be mixed with impurities like minerals and other type of substances then that is considered as ore okay okay so iron that is extracted from iron ore in a huge container that is known as blast furnace which you are seeing downwards here it is your blast furnace okay oh, okay so iron ore just like as hematite that contains iron 3 oxide iron 3 oxide that is fe2o3 and <coughs> oxygen must be removed firstly from iron oxide in order to leave iron behind okay okay so basically that hematite that contains like iron 3 oxide like fe2o3 firstly if you want to separate iron then you must have to remove oxygen from there okay okay so that iron will leave behind so reactions in which oxygen is removed they are also called reduction reaction okay okay in your previous clippings i explained that to you oxidation that means adding of oxygen or you can also understand that removal of electrons okay and reduction that means removal of oxygen and addition of electrons clear okay yeah so basically what would like to be happen while extracting of iron so iron ore carbon and limestone that would like to be drop over here okay there are okay. three different zones in blast furnace zone first that has highest temperature okay zone second okay. that has a little bit less temperature zone 3 that has very less temperature okay so basically when iron ore that would like to come inside then first of all that as temperature is very high so that's why that it will start to melt okay it will start okay. to melt so that's uh, that's why that suppose that there is iron oxide okay no. so very quickly due to the process of thermal decomposition iron and oxygen that would like to split okay iron and oxygen that would like to split and then oxygen that would like to come out here you are seeing that waste gases so that's why through here that oxygen that would like to come here come out okay and then due to high density that iron that would like to settle down okay in liquid form okay okay uh, clear yeah also you can understand that here you are seeing that at the top i told you that iron ore iron ore carbon and limestone as usually you know that carbon that is above than iron in reactivity series that's why it would like to displace iron from iron oxide okay 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 yes so in that condition in that condition it will displace iron from iron oxide so reaction that will be word reaction you can learn that iron oxide plus carbon will give you iron plus carbon dioxide oh understand yeah yeah or your chemical reaction that will be fe2o3 that will be solid in state and that will react with carbon that will also be in solid and it would like to give iron and carbon dioxide it is your displacement reaction okay okay or in other way you can also understand it is single displacement okay in oh, this okay. reaction yeah in this reaction you can see that iron oxide that is changing from this one to iron so that means you can clearly understand that oxygen is removing 
okay okay so you can say that iron oxide that is reduced to iron and you can see that carbon that is converting into carbon dioxide in this one that oxidation is happening okay so yeah, you can also okay. understand that it is a type of redox reaction okay redox reduction redox reaction is the type of reaction in which oxidation and reduction both happens okay okay in blast furnace as usual you know that there is very high temperature so in that condition carbon monoxide that can be used okay in place of carbon okay just okay. to reduce iron oxide quickly okay okay so basically that in spite of that reaction you can also use that iron oxide plus carbon monoxide that will also give you as product iron and carbon dioxide okay okay and your reaction is fe2o3 plus co that will give you fe plus co2 clear oh okay yeah, yeah. okay yes so basically what you have to learn in this process raw material that you have to take iron ore okay in which one okay. there will be iron oxide and what's main function of it a compound that contains iron yeah iron ore or hematite there will be iron okay the next okay. one is your coke that contains carbon and its main function is when it will burn in air then it will produce heat and react to form carbon monoxide which is which is required to reduce iron oxide into iron clear oh okay yeah, yeah. then third one that is your limestone limestone there it contains calcium carbonate okay and okay. it helps to remove acidic impurity from iron by reacting with them in the form of molten slag actually molten slag also that would like to be settled down okay molten okay. slag also that would like to be settled down due to of high density and you can take out from this side okay means just okay. opposite side from where that you will take iron out okay okay yes and fourth one that is your air so air that is very essential component because that if no air will be there so combustion will not be possible so air in air also oxygen will be there that allows yeah. the coke to burn yeah because that i explained that to you combustion that means burning okay until yeah. or unless there will be no combustion it is not possible that iron oxide that would like to split into iron okay yeah so in this process that uh, last condition will be just to remove impurities so the calcium carbonate in the limestone that will thermally decompose into calcium oxide okay yeah thermally yeah, thermally decompose decomposition you know that decomposition means breaking thermal decomposition that means a breaking when you will apply heat breaking right. when you were up. okay yeah yeah yes decompose or decomposition that means breaking thermal decomposition that means breaking when heat will apply okay okay that means in that condition calcium carbonate that will decompose into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide okay it's a chemical yeah, reaction yeah. you can see over here it's a balance reaction why because you can see that one calcium that is here in reactant while well, one calcium is also in product one carbon is here one carbon is here three oxygen that are in reactant and three oxygen one oxygen and two oxygen that is three oxygen also in product okay okay, okay. Yeah. yeah that's why that there is no need to balance that okay okay then calcium oxide whatever that you will get there that will react with silica that is sand impurities yeah, yeah, sand. yeah impurities that will be in hematite okay and then it yeah. will produce slag okay yeah, and your your slag that will be your calcium silicate okay 
Yeah. CaSiO3. Okay. It's yeah. a formula. Calcium silicate formula that is CaSiO3. Okay. So you can see yeah, that yeah. word equation that calcium oxide plus silica that will give you calcium silicate. And chemical reaction that is CaO plus SiO2 that will give you CaSiO3. Okay. Okay. You can also understand that it is your neutralization reaction. As I explained that to you, that neutralization reaction is the type of reaction in which acid and base will react to perform salt and water. Okay. Okay. So here you can see that calcium oxide is basic in nature. I explained you that metallic oxides, they are basic in nature. Okay. And silica, okay. whatever silica you are taking here, that is your acid. Okay. That okay. is acidic in nature because it is non-metallic oxide. So metallic oxide will react with non-metallic oxide. Then it will form calcium silicate. Okay. Okay. So here I explained that to you that extraction of iron completely. 